It's time to imagine better health care with CHI Health. Breast cancer certainly takes its toll on the body, and reconstructing the area can help patients look and feel better inside and out. There are options when it comes to this type of surgery, and our next guest is performing an advanced operation that uses the patient's own body tissue. Here to explain how it works, CHI Health Plastic Surgeon, Dr. Gangadasu Reddy. It's nice to have you here, Dr. Reddy. Um, I, this, this procedure, I hadn't heard about it until I knew you were performing it in Omaha. Would you explain how it works? Yeah, uh, I'm a plastic surgeon with a fellowship training mm -hmm. in performing uh, the state-of-art reconstructive procedures in women who are undergoing breast cancer surgery. The procedure I perform is called a DF flap or DIEP flap. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, most women tend to have excessive skin and fat on the lower part of their abdomen, and uh, I use this tissue to reconstruct the breast. Mm -hmm. Conceptually, if you look at it, it's more or less similar to a tummy tuck operation. In a tummy tuck operation, what a plastic surgeon does is he removes the excessive skin and fat, and uh, when I do this surgery, I am essentially using the same tissue, but the hard part of this operation is I also need to dissect the tiny blood vessels that are one to two millimeters in size, along with the fat. Mm -hmm. Because of that, that makes this operation a technically challenging. Uh, the blood vessels, they pass through the muzzle, and we have to separate those muzzle fibers and free it up. So that's what makes it a, a very complicated procedure. Mm -hmm. Once I separate the fat along with the blood vessels, then I disconnect it from the body, from their lower tummy, and then put it on the chest, and there I reattach those blood vessels in the chest uh, so that they have a new circulation to them. Yes. Is there a, a good candidate or is there someone who is not a good candidate for this procedure? Yeah. Uh, we can perform this procedure on a patient who is having a mastectomy on one or both sides for mm -hmm. a breast cancer. Uh, people nowadays are also opting for what we call as a prophylactic mastectomy. That is, they are undergoing mastectomy because they have a strong family history of breast cancer or because they are testing positive for breast cancer related genes. Like the BRCA1 which we've heard about. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So in those type of patients too, this is a good option. Patients who failed prior implant-based reconstruction, if they had an implant-based surgery 10, 20 years back, uh -huh. and now they're unhappy with the results because those implants, they move with, they distort with movement, they are associated with pain because sometimes they form significant scarring around those implants. And uh, those type of patients too, we take those implants out and do this type of reconstruction. Mm -hmm. The other subset of patients are what we call as um, patients who are eligible for partial breast reconstruction. These are patients who had a lumpectomy. When a breast surgeon removes the tish breast tissue, they usually take out the entire breast tissue, but nowadays they preserve as much of normal tissue as possible. At the time, same time, they get rid of the cancer part. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, these women end up getting smaller breasts with uh, deformities, and those are patients who are candidates for this type of reconstruction as well. That's terrific. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we work with insurance companies, whether they are undergoing reconstruction as an immediate basis, that is right after a mastectomy, or some women, they don't want to have this reconstruction done right away. So we perform what we call as a, like a delayed reconstruction, which can be a few months, years, or maybe even 10, 15 years after a mastectomy, mm -hmm. they can still opt for this type of reconstruction. This isn't widely available yet, is it? I, I can't imagine I'm the only one who didn't realize um, that you could take that tissue, the fat from the stomach, and use it in reconstruction. Right. I mean, this type of procedure, it, since it's so technically challenging and uh, not many breast cancer centers, mm -hmm. nor not a uh, lot of plastic surgeons offer this to their patients on a routine basis uh, because of the time and the amount of work that it, uh, someone needs to put in to get a good result. Mm -hmm. The main advantage with this procedure is since we are not sacrificing any muzzle. Yes. Uh, it leaves the entire muzzle intact and they have nice abdominal wall strength. Uh, the recuperation times are shorter. The pain following surgery is minimal. Mm -hmm. And uh, the advantage is we are using the same patient's body tissues so they have a natural feel and look to them. 
the success rates are in the tune of 97, 98 percent. That's terrific. Yeah, we, that is very good. And mm -hmm. uh, wow. the other advantage is if these patients were to gain or lose weight down the years, then the size of the breast also change accordingly. It is Just not like, like it an would. Yeah. Yeah. What, what you're saying is in, in years past, women would have used, if we say tissue, but it would have been the muscle. And so that's what you're saying is it's the, the result and then the recovery time I and mean, the, the overall experience is vastly different now that you're able to use that fat instead of damaging the muscle. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. So since there is no muscle that's sacrificed or very minimal muscle tissue that we use, uh, these patients, they do uh, well, mm -hmm. and the outcomes of this surgery are great. And uh, most people, sometimes we see who had surgery maybe 10, 20 years down mm -hmm. the road, and now they want to have this type of surgery because right. they heard it from their friends. Well, you survived breast cancer, um, but then it comes to the point about confidence, um, and then going with technology and, and the best that's available now, and that's what we're talking about here today with Dr. Reddy and CHI Health, and really on the cutting edge of this procedure. You're welcome to call to learn more at 717-0820. That's a direct line into his office. And if you'd like to learn more, you're welcome to visit the website there and we'll link back to it on our website too. And please do inquire about um, insurance and involvement. And I know your office willing to work in any way possible to make this happen for women. Thank you, Dr. Reddy. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you. Guests of the morning.